What's up? So a few weeks ago, I did this video on this company called Pal and Sons. And um, just a quick recap of what that is. If you go to Google and you search for pretty much any home service in your area, uh, you'll find this company called Pal and Sons. And I just typed in remodeler Coeur d'Alene. Coeur d'Alene is my city. And the first Google ad we see up here at the top is affordable kitchen remodeling voted best in Coeur d'Alene. And okay, well that would, if, if I was a homeowner looking for a remodeler, I would think, okay, this is a remodeling company voted best in Coeur d'Alene. That sounds promising. So I'd click on their ad and I land on this page. Okay. We got a picture of a kitchen. We got some bullet points. We got a form here and we got some reviews. Okay, cool seems like a remodeling company so i might fill out this form but if we actually look at the fine print we we can see that in light you know a light colored uh, text we've got contractor referral experts so right off the bat we know they're not really a contractor and it's just kind of a it's meant to look like a contractor but it's really not if you read their terms of service you see that they're actually just a referral website and you know, what happens with your submission, all that kind of stuff. So in this video that I did, I explained what happened when I filled out this form. You know, I've been seeing these guys for ages. You know, I, I work with customers all over the country on their Google ads. And so I'm always doing searches to kind of get an idea of who else is running ads. And I see these guys everywhere. And I was doing uh, a search for a window replacement, like home window replacement in Atlanta, uh, not too long ago. And these guys popped up, you know, home window replacement Atlanta, voted best in Atlanta, something like that. And I finally was like, okay, I gotta see what happens when I fill out this form. So I fill out this form and within 30 seconds, my phone rang and it was this woman asking me questions about the window stuff I needed. You know, what kind of windows do you have? Where's your location? All this stuff. I told her all of that info. And then she said, okay, we don't have anybody in your service area. And I thought that was kind of interesting because they were running ads for this. So it would seem like they're running ads just pretty much every city in the country for every home service. And a few minutes after she called and we had, we had talked and hung up, Another person called me from, they said that they were a home inspector and that home advisor Angie's list gave me or gave him uh, my information. So immediately that signaled that, okay, I fill out the form on Pal and Sons and then Angie or, you know, home advisor Angie's list that became Angie. They are the ones that ended up getting my, my information. So I didn't know this was happening, but now I realize that Angie is buying contact information from third parties like Pal and Sons. Now this is, all this was covered in my last video, um, but since that video, I spoke with the owner and CEO of a pretty decent sized lead reselling company. And I'm not going to mention them by name, but I kind of like their business model. It's a little bit better than, than Angie leads or whatever they're called now um, because they, they sell exclusive leads. They don't sell it to four to six other contractors at the same time. And um, they also have like a proactive refund policy. So they'll take action after they sell you the lead uh, to verify that the lead is actually a real person. And if it's not a real person, then they'll just give you your money back without you having to ask for it. So I thought those things were kind of cool. I reached out, I spoke with the business owner and, and he was just you know, spilling the beans about a lot of these things, how this online lead generation works. And how it works is companies like Angie or um, his company that, that, re that sell leads, they're really distributing leads. Uh, these other companies like Pal and Sons, they'll take someone's contact information and they'll put it into a computer system that sells it to the highest bidder. So in my situation with the home inspector, Angie was the highest bidder for my contact information at that point in time. So they're the ones that got my lead and then sold it to other contractors. Um, and he was telling me that this whole 
online lead generation thing is really uh, he called it incestual, but basically it's there's a there's not there's only a handful of these big companies producing these leads from all over the place. A lot of them are from Google ads, but a lot of them come from blogs all over the place. They do it in the auto industry, the home services industries. They do it in all these industries and they've got all these millions of ways of grabbing people's contact information. And then they spit it into like a marketplace of sorts and lead distributing companies like Angie buy those leads and then sell them to their customers. And, uh, you know, that just kind of blew my mind. I always thought companies like Angie were generating all of their own leads and selling them. Um, but through my own experimentation, I learned that they are buying leads from third parties. And this is one of my theories on why a lot of people seem to be complaining about the quality going down is that you've got all of these third party companies that are just snagging people's contact information any way that they possibly can oftentimes without people really knowing what's going to happen with their info. You know, put in your info, get a free guide, put in your info, compare a few quotes. You know, that stuff, it makes it sound like uh, something's going to happen really quick and easily, but they're not told that submit this compare free quotes actually means we're going to sell your contact information to six different people and they're going to be calling you in the next 20 seconds. And so that's one of my theories on why the lead quality at companies like Angie is going down. And I base that opinion off of just the dozens of people that call me every month saying that. Um, this man that I talked to also had another interesting theory because I asked him, I said, hey, why am I getting so many phone calls from people who say that Angie's List or Home Advisor used to work really good, but it's just really gone downhill? What's up with that? And he said that one of the typical theories is that companies like Angie or Home Advisor, they will spoil you in the beginning. You sign up for them, they'll send you the higher quality leads, they'll send you higher volume. But after you've been with them for a while, they'll start to lower the quality of the leads and give the, the better ones to newer customers, kind of like a pyramid scheme. And I'm not saying this is the case. This is just a theory that he shared with me. I don't know if it's true. Um, one thing that is certain is companies like Angie, they've, they have so much data to work with. They've worked with so many contractors on so many jobs. They know the exact numbers. They know exactly how much you can stand a profit on a two tree removal job on average in every location in the country. So they know how much money that you can make from this stuff and they're always going to find a, a, try to find an equilibrium of the maximum they can charge but you still be able to make enough profit that you're gonna come back and buy that lead later. That's just something that's obviously gonna happen at any large company doing this kind of volume. They have the numbers, they're gonna figure out how to use them. And you know all this, all these uh, revelations uh, or insights that I'm picking up about this online lead generation game just highlight in my mind how much I really like the strategy that we follow. You know, my company, Adapt Digital Solutions, is all about skipping these online lead reseller distributor people and just being found right here on Google Maps. Like this is our remodeling company. This listing right here, we don't pay to have it here. It's here because our website's awesome, because we have good reviews, because we've been in business for a long time, because we've done things right and authentically on, in, on our online presence. And this is what we do for clients. I call it the foundational marketing system. It's basically how to get your website showing up here at the top, how to make it look professional so that when people actually find it, they want to contact you and then making sure that it's properly connected to your Google Maps listing so you can show up here right underneath the ads. You know, this box shows up on most local searches and it gives my company an advantage just like it gives our clients an advantage. You know, these people up here are paying a lot of money to be up here, but right below them, these people are not paying any money to be here. And then right here, we're not paying any extra money to be found here. If we were really hard up for work, 
we could invest in Google ads, we can be showing up up here at the top, right here in Google Maps, and right here at the top of the regular search results. So that's three times we're showing up basically on one one screen. And that's, you know, that's pretty much the best you can do on Google. So yeah, I hope that these things were interesting for you. This online lead generation game can seem pretty gross sometimes. I'm not a huge fan of it. That's why I that's why I've based the services that my company provides around making sure our clients own the assets that we produce, making sure that they're in control and that they're autonomous, that they don't have to overly rely on any third parties to generate new customers and basically just helping them add more value to their customers lives so if you're interested in this kind of stuff subscribe to the channel if you have any questions about this or insights maybe something that i didn't cover that you know about please leave it in the comment section and i'll see you on the next one